Now we're going to look at a few ideas in statistics. What statistics does is it takes a large group of numbers and tries to break it down into one, two, maybe three numbers so we can analyze and get a general feel as to what all of these numbers mean in just a very simple sense. For example, let's say these 11 numbers represent students' math scores in a given class. When we look at these numbers, we see a student has a 60, another one has a 68, a 72, on and on. What the teacher may wish to look at, though, is how is this class performing in general? So he wants to take all of these numbers and break it down to one or two numbers just so he could see how the class as a whole is doing rather than looking at each individual. So we're going to use these numbers here to define what the word mean, mode, median, and range are. The word mean, which is the most common term used in statistics for our purposes here, just means average. The way to find the average is add up all of these numbers. Undoubtedly, you could use a calculator for this. There's no point in going through the tediousness of adding these up just to find what the mean is. Add them all up and then divide by the number of items that are here. Since there are 11 students, we're going to add these up and then divide by 11. This ends up being 79. Now, there's not one student up here who has a score of 79. That's not the point. The point is, how is the class overall doing? They are performing at about a 79% level, which is about a high C plus, maybe a B minus, somewhere in there. A reasonable class. Not a great class, but not a bad class. Uh, some students are certainly performing at the high B, low A level. Some are in the barely passing or close to passing range. Nevertheless, as a whole, as a group, the class is performing at an average of 79. That's what statistics does. Uh, another term to know is mode. Mode simply means the number or numbers that come up more than all of the other ones. For example, when we scan across, we see that the number 82 and the number 90 come up more often than the other ones. So this example here has two modes. Both 82 and 90 are modes. If you look at this second example here, let's say this is a class of four, uh, two students getting 60s, the other two getting 100s, there is no mode because no number comes up more than any other number. Therefore, you could have no modes, one mode, two modes, as many modes as the problem indicates. Median. Median is simply the number that divides the upper half of the class to the, bet uh, between the upper and lower halves of the class. It basically splits this down the middle. So to find the median, you have to make sure your numbers are arranged from least to greatest, and then look at the middle number. Since there are 11 numbers here, the sixth number, 82, would be that dividing line. This number here, which is the median, splits the upper half of the class and the lower half of the class. It allows one to look at the top students perhaps separately and the bottom students separately. That's what the median is.